certainly one of the most beautiful structures in the most historic city in the U.S. That's City Hall here in Philadelphia. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, hump day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. Kevin Harlan here alongside Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. DA David Aldridge is on our sideline. And powering into the first week of the new year, here's a brand new look at the power rankings. You look at Washington, they're playing really well, moving up now to the top spot in our rankings. And seeing where the 76ers are, they're just right now outperforming those preseason predictions. And that's because they're getting help from some unlikely sources. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. We've got Conley. Bill Barton is out there with Markinen. Then there's Aiton. And it's Thompson in at the shooting guard. And for the 76ers, they've got Adams. Lowry out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Covington in at the four slot. Now here's Conley. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. And you see the raw talent Aiden has. An intimidating big man with a high ceiling and, and a desire to grow. First free throw is good. Well, fans can be impatient, Greg, especially for the fans of teams that are slow to start a season. And Kevin, the media as well. Right, I mean, right. I played in New York, and you, you know, in that town, you go big or you get talked about. No doubt about it. But with the way things have evolved now, and every team is a national team because every game's televised. Uh, it's starting to happen more in some of those smaller markets as well. It's just a harsh reality of pro sports. Conley against Lowry. And Covington sends it back. Aiton lays it up and banks it in. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss, one of Aiton's specialties. Beal drives in, makes it off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Now here is Lowry, poked loose, stolen by Markinen. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Markinen. A flat-out loss of concentration. That kind of turnover will drive a coach crazy. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Ingram outside. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. It's Beal on the wing. He's guarded by Markinen. Covington with the bucket. I like seeing Bill thread the needle there. A fabulous passer in the pick and roll. And we so often talk about the elite scoring, but Bill's playmaking is now reaching that same level. Yeah, it just shows you how talented and unselfish he is. All he wants to do is win. I mean, that talent requires help from your teammates, so he uses his vision and instincts and ability to keep them involved. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. For three, Ingram hands it from downtown. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now here's Barton. He's coming off a 19-point game against Toronto. Down low, Ingram passes to Adams. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Covington down low. Arkinen on him. Covington with the bucket. Now what confidence from the rangy swing man. I mean, <laughs> he knows what it takes to convert from there. Lowry against Cumber. Covington with the steal. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Ingram. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Aiton. 
This is his first trip to the line tonight. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. Ingram, he's shown some flashes, but now it's about being consistent. I mean, he has all the talent needed to be a star in this league. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Mann's checked in, and Curry subbed in for Beal. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Mason Plumley's checked in for Markinen. Williams comes in for Barton. Green, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Sadoransky's subbed in for Mike Conley. The 76ers leading by four. It's Ingram on the wing. Dishes it to Curry. Ingram kicks to Curry. Back to Ingram. Knocked loose. And stolen by Eaton. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's covered closely. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That is his first foul of the game. Wizards making a switch here. Toscano's checked in. Plumley against Adams. The kick out to Williams. Four on the shot clock. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. Philadelphia has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside Curry. On the top of the key. Almost, but it rolls out. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Well, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. Now, here's Green. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Sadoransky. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to catch up with Scott Brooks. We talked about how he's going to try and disrupt Brandon Ingram. Coach said he's too tall to block. He's like KD in that sense. But we have to get a hand up to at least bother his shot from outside. So, Kevin, they'll try to limit his clean looks. But, of course, that brings in his in-between game. Back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Six on the shot clock. Ingram against Williams. That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Ingram attacking and slam dunk by Ingram. Shades of KD and Dr. J. Ingram floating to the rim. And so Green will bring it up for Washington. They trail by six. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. They just looked a step quicker all game long. They knew they had an advantage on offense. Ingram kicks to Ronda. Curry looking around. Lock at six. Over green. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. The drive by Green. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Wizards have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. First one falls for him. Robert Covington's checked in for Brandon Ingram. And so he hits both. 24 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Pass to Mann. Now Adams. He's guarded by Plumley. Adams down low. Working on Plumley. Adams shot is off. Outside Green. Here's Toscano. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. 76ers lead by four. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Hey. 
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, governing the split-second chance opportunities. I mean, that's what has them in the lead right now. Lowry out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Brandon Ingram. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's Adams in at the five. That's the group for Philadelphia to start the second quarter. Philadelphia leading by four. Out to Ingram. Got a piece of it. Back to Adams. Falls through. He's now made two of four. How about the inventiveness from Ingram? Not to only see his open teammate, but deliver the pass as well. And the pass to Plumlee. Back to Sadoransky. To the paint. And it's slammed in by Plumlee. Now, once Sadoransky sees the open man, he gives it away. He, he knows how to run an effective offense. Here's Beal. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got three assists tonight. Greg, one of your former teammates, John Starks, would get under a guy's skin on the court. He's like a nuisance, but really opposite off the floor, away from the game. I tell you, Kevin, John's got a heart of gold. And anybody that knows him is going to be a fan of the person. John is as good a friend as I can ever recall having. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Feated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. They just appeared lost out there. I mean, it seemed like they were scrambling on the defensive end of the floor. Now here's Ingram. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Indiana. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Barton with it, now guarded by Ingram. And that one's good, Barton. The 76ers leading by four. Lowry drives in. Basket good. And they're leaning on the mid-range right now. That's six of their last ten from that area. Outside Conley. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Neal against Thompson. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And Adams kicks to Covington. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Ingram missing. Wizards trail by four. Here's Barton, and Barton throws it down. I like seeing that kind of sharp passing. Thompson, making sure they get the best shot possible. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Wizards team. And, and looking back to last season, they won this season series, as you'd expect. Oh, yeah, and, and we'll see what or, or if anything has changed this year. Maybe it's still a matchup of the haves and have-nots. Or maybe the playing field's uh, a little more even. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Aiton. Defense getting too close. Lowry has that instinct to read what's happening. Takes the shot there into the contact. And the 76ers with some changes. Mann's checked in. And it's Seth Curry in for Brandon Ingram. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Now here's Conley. They had a 24-point outing in their last game against Toronto. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. Good on the shot. Martin's got six here in this quarter. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Passes it to Maxi. 
Back to Lowry. Covington trying to break free. The 76ers with another miss. Here's Thompson. And it's all evened up. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Outside Curry. Uncovered. And he connects with the jumper. Curry's got his second basket of the night. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. And that one's good, Aiton. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. The 76ers have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're 5 for 9. Now, here's Curry. From outside, off the mark. Here's Washington. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Conley. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now 3 for 4. Look, you're asking for trouble when you let Conley penetrate inside. You're playing with fire. Curry finds Covington. Outside Lowry. There's 47 seconds left in the second quarter. Now let's bring up the 2K leaderboard. Here are the top rebounders over the last month. Fourth, DeAndre Ayton. He must be spending a lot of time in the weight room because he's shown such strength under the basket. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. And the 76ers making a change here. Londo's checked in. Now here's Green. 36 seconds left in the first half of the game. And how about the focus that Aransky poses on these finishes? Impressive watching him work through contact. Pass to Maxi. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Steven Adams, he's checked in for the 76ers. Washington trailing. Now, here's Sadoransky. And that one is hammered home. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Here's Mann. Good on the triple. Mann's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. One second left. No good. Well, well I'll tell you this. When Rondo is zeroed in defensively, he, he can be a stopper. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. 76ers on top, leading by just two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We gotta come out with our energy. We gotta come out, play our game, and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. The largest lead they had was six in the opening period. The second quarter saw them lose just a fraction of the lead they held at the end of the first as they're now ahead by two points at the half. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Man, their fans know how to give their team a lift, that's for sure. The atmosphere in this building has been amazing, but the fans still have some work to do. They've got to keep the noise up, keep the energy up, and carry their guys to the limit. Jack, what was your takeaway on Washington? Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting a timely rebound really lifted them. The strong work on the glass is key because that's how you string together a series of big stops. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. Yeah. 
And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Gotta like what Will Barton has done in this game. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. The lead is two. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. Ayton is out there with Markinen. And there's Clay Thompson, and it's Conley, and it's Barton in at the small forward. He is so hard to stop. I mean, when Bill is committed to scoring, he doesn't care who's guarding him. Barton passes to Conley. Barton dishes to Ayton. To the wing on the left, Conley for three. The rebound by Steven Adams. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Ingram passes to Beal. And here's Covington. Six to shoot. And it's Mike Conley with the rebound. There's a lesson for you. Don't showboat. Tries to get fancy with the fadeaway, <laughs> and it backfires. They get it back. Ayton, and Ayton throws it down. And dunking the ball is just second nature to Ayton. With the right positioning, he's a threat to throw it down. Now here's Beal. Eight points for him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Lowry Markkinen. Greg, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the in the 70s. Isn't that a, weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know but, it. You know, <laughs> I, I think, Kev, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. Uh, it creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so live sports, uh, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about, man, I, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. Uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in a team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. Now here's Thompson. Off target from three-point range. It's still early, but a one for four start to the half, that's a bad sign if you ask me. If they've got a can't miss play, now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. Ingram against Thompson. Back to Adams. In the corner, it's Ingram. Here's the three. The 76ers with another miss. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Timeout called. The 76ers making a switch here. Curry's checked in, and a switcher also for Washington. Williams is checked in. The 76ers leading. Outside, Beal. Adams down low. He's covered by Aiton. Beal against Williams. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Plumley is jacked in for the Wizards. The 76ers have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. And that one falls for Beal. Yeah, and, and after one year of collegiate basketball, Bill knew he was ready for the NBA, and I'd say he was right. Aiton against Adams. Pass to Conley. Now here's Plumley. Defense is right there. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. The shot by Beal, no good. Wizards trail by four. Thompson for the triple. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Ingram's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Curry against Thompson. 
Here's Ingram. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Ingram's got nine. Shooting ability is critical in today's game. One reason Ingram is so highly valued. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Williams kicks to Thompson. For three, gets the three-pointer to fall. Five points in the game. Not many guys more lethal on the catch and shoot. That's an easy bucket for Thompson. And it's Ingram missing. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Wizards. It's a three-point game. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Now Beal after the miss three from Clay Thompson. And using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiden can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Mann's checked in. And Maxey subbed in for Curry. And then for Washington, Toscano's checked in. And Zedaransky subbed in for Mike Conley. Adams down low. He drains it from the right block. And this is where Adams has the biggest impact. The closer to the basket, the more effective he is. Zadaransky, the pass to Plumley. On the wing, Thompson. Buries it from three-point range. Thompson's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for Washington. Ingram deciding where to go with it. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. He's not using his head this quarter. He's got to get back to finding high percentage shots. Sadoransky gets the bucket. Man, he's such a capable scorer in transition. I mean, once Sadoransky gets a step on the D, you got to look out. Ingram outside. And there's the pass to Mann. Three-pointer. And the three ball is good. Mann's got six. Well, they get burned this time. That's a shot they're willing to give up, though. Rondo against Sadoransky. Here's Thompson. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. He's got 10. A stronger guy than something. I mean, it's not enough just to bump play. You have to do more. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Mann. He's guarded by Williams. Inside. Mann gets the bucket. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Sadoransky against Rondo. And Sadoransky kicks to Williams. Banked in off the glass. Williams has got his first points of the night. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Yeah, yeah, it's taking on a different feel since the break. You can see how many more hustle plays are being made. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. 76ers lead by one. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great vision. He's a gifted passer. Has his finger on the pulse of this offense. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. We've got Robert Covington. Paxi out there with Rajon Rondo. Then it's Ingram. And it's Adams in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Thompson with the bucket. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. 
to the inside. Covington, a good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And the 76ers lead by one. Rondo against Sadoransky. Pass to Thompson. Let's it go from deep. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, strong for marketing. I mean, he's a very good rebounder and an undervalued part of, of his skill set. Rondo passes to Covington. Back to Rondo. No good on the shot. Now the Wizards take it the other way. And here we go. Washington fast break. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Barton's got the lead up to three now for Washington. And this is the effort you want to see out of your guys. Win or lose. Yeah, yeah. You just want to keep fighting. You do your best. And you live with the results. Timeout called the 76ers. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Beals checked in for Philadelphia. Kyle Lowry comes in for Rajon Rondo. Andre Ayton's checked in for the Wizards. Mike Conley comes in for Sadoransky. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He wants them to work for more easy baskets in transition. He said, the moment we take possession of the ball, I want us to attack. If there's nothing there, then you can pull it back out and run the offense. Kevin? Thompson dishes to Conley. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. The 76ers trail by three. Deal with it. Now defended by Markinen. Stolen by Thompson. Conley against Lowry. A floater. The second chance effort. Out to Thompson, shoots the three, connects from three-point range. And the Wizards lead by six. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Beal taking his time here. Over Thompson. Another miss by Philadelphia. Washington's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Goes up on the high post. Goes back up. And Aiton with the layup. And it's an eight-point Washington lead. He just looks so fluid in the open floor. I love how Aiden runs to the right spot in these situations. Here's Washington now. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Conley gets the bucket. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Yeah, because it's so hard to prevent transition scores. Whenever you get an opportunity to get out and run, you take it. And the 76ers call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Clay Thompson. And he's up over 50% from the field here tonight. And that speaks to how solid his shot selection has been. Nothing forced and really no bad decisions. Just good, smart, offensive basketball. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Here's Ingram. Money from the wing. It seems strange seeing someone Ingram's size handling the pick and roll, but that's why he's unique. Wizards leading by eight. Conley left side. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And Aiton stays with it. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. And this is why you got to put a body on Aiton. When you don't, he torches you with the putback. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Yeah, it seems like whenever one team scores, the other comes right back with a bucket of its own. 
Anzo Conley will bring the ball up for Washington. Pass to Thompson. One fifty-seven left in the fourth quarter. Can hit the turnaround jumper. And here's Ingram from the arc. Rebound, Washington. Oh, and here comes Conley all alone. And that one drops. 14 points for Mike Conley. Look, he's just adept at reading these situations. Conley is just a terror on the floor when it opens up for him. To the middle, here's Ingram. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's foul number two for him. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Thompson looking for an opening. Pass to Ayton. Five to shoot. Wizards working now with a new shot clock. This is a do or die possession. They have got to get points. Oh yeah, a little room for error now. We'll see what they run. Good on the first, and that trims the lead to six. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And great work at the line there to chip away at the lead. A few more productive trips here, and things could really get interesting. Now the pass to Ayton. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Oh, the floor general skills of Conley. I mean, he has a fantastic feel for when his teammates need the rock. I love seeing Bill come alive in moments like this. When his team needs him, he steps up to the plate. Conley, the pass to Barton. Back to Conley. To the paint, here's Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. And in the moment of truth, Thompson putting the team on his back, trying to carry them across the finish line. And here's Covington from the arc. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. What a calm player. I mean, Covington, even in high-stakes situations, he feels comfortable firing away. Passes it to Thompson. Tipped away. Beal with the steal. And it's all about the three right here. That's what they need to tie it. Boy, what a game this has been. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Oh, the skill, quick release. Clay Thompson is a special shooter in the field and at the line. But comes through big. Now they can put everything they have into guard against the three. The important thing is to make whatever you take. Here's Beal. Martin with the rebound. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. You know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. Oh, and it's a wrap. <laughs> Any chance they may have had for a comeback just went out the window with those free throws. And so Washington takes the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Mason, your game has expanded some, and what has that process been like? You know, you just learn something new every game. You have to study your opponent and see what's going to be open, but 
Um, some of the constants have to be rebounding defense, bringing energy in, and that's always going to get you a little bit. Well, you had the whole package tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.